Hey there, this is Bro Mega. I am going to do a very, very quick tutorial on how to use NVIDIA Shadow Play to record. Um, I currently use it to record games. As you can see from here, I am recording more than a game. The way that works is very simple with Shadow Play. You have to get NVIDIA GeForce Experience. When uh, I got my card, it came with it and installed, but you can go download it. One of the best things about it is you can record your uh, desktop also. So for me, all my options are grayed out. But as you can see, there are a lot of options and they're very basic. Um, for one, you won't be able to see it on the recording because it hides it, but there's indicators for the person that's recording that are down in this area if you set this quadrant. So mine, you can't see, you just see the time, but it has the uh, status that I'm recording, plus it has my microphone saying that my microphone is actually on. So that way when you're doing a recording, you always kind of know what's going on with your recording. Um, one of the cool things, like I said, is this, this little checkbox here, it's kind of grayed out because I am currently recording, but you can see if you have it checked, it allows desktop capture. If you unclick that, it, it will, most games, it'll actually indicate that you're in the game and then it'll start recording and you can do it then but since I have a desktop capture on I can just hit alt F9 which it has all the shortcuts here but I usually use alt F9 because that toggles on and off recording um, it's super easy so what happens when you're recording I have a file open this is my file that things save to um, so this desktop right here so I'm doing the desktop recording which is, this is checked so this file will not open currently if you try to open it because it's you know currently being saved to um, at any time if you are worried that you want to save off what you're doing you can do alt f10 and it'll save the last five minutes of your recording for me I don't care but I have had it crash before and then when I came back I just had that little blue file with a little movie thing and it did not work so if you're worried about that you need to save off every five minutes this shouldn't take that long um, so far you've already got the gist of it um, once you open it up. So the way you start it if you want the control panel is you go click shadow play up top. This is the control panel. <clears throat> it has the shortcuts here. Um, this button is basically alt F9. But you can go in here and set quality and your audio and all the other um, benefits that you can get from it. Um, I don't mess with it much. I am uh, slightly new at it anyways, but Shadow Play has been so easy. I learned it in about two minutes, which you're about to do too. You can just use it. The hardest part you're going to find most likely is editing the video because you go to edit it and you want to do this and that, and you got to have whichever editor meets your, your needs. For me, I, I use Windows 10 Movie Maker because it's also free and it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm sure there's more you can do with other editing software, but since I uh, haven't ne had a need for it too much, I've been using that. But anyways, so once you want to stop the recording, you hit Alt F9 and what will happen is this will turn to a video and then you can use it. Just You can watch it right then, but you can also load it into any of your video editors that you might want to use. Like I said, I can load it into uh, <clears throat> to Movie Maker. So, I'll do that real quick so you guys can see. So now, um, as you can see, we have my old video there, the one that I just recorded. Of course, I might edit it a little bit. I might not because uh, the fluid movements probably would make it easier for people to follow. So I'll just continue. If I were going to continue on, you've seen every step I did. Uh, every, when I toggled it on, I was just using Alt F9. Like I said, you could use this button. Alt F9 is easy because when you're in game, you can hit Alt F9, and as long as there's not any commands assigned to such things, it'll just start recording or stop recording. And then uh, I mentioned Alt F10 does the last five minutes. But let's open up Movie Maker because that's what I would use. So if I open up Movie Maker, which is a I would consider basic tool, but it's it's super useful if you've never done any videos at all I'd imagine that would be the case if you're watching this or you've experienced problems like I've heard with other video recorders or desktop recorders I have heard that other ones I have not used them and that's why I chose this one because this one's free and I've heard that the other videos do cause a little problems when you're uh, doing high-definition gaming sometimes there's tearing um, 
you'll go to record the game and then you'll go back and watch it and go to edit it and you'll notice like there's some sketch lag in the video that you did not see when you were playing. If you have NVIDIA, Shadowplay is nice because it's architecture specific. There is no tearing that I've seen. It seems to work just fine. And uh, it does, I mean you saw how easy it was. It's Once you've installed it, once you run it, tweak the settings a little bit how you like where your things to show up. Alt F9 and you're recording. And then when you're done, this is the video I just did with you guys. I throw it on here and now I have it. Let's say I don't want to change anything. I want to upload this perfectly how it is. I just go to save movie. I would do high definition because that's for audio. Um, not for audio, for display. And for gaming I've been doing it because you can pick up the best quality. And it, When I've done this it literally looks like it did when I played and that's what I like. I don't have to do anything else. It'll save the video. It'll come out as a video that you can upload right then to whatever you want. Anyways guys, if you found this video helpful or you liked it, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you did like it, go and throw a like on there. And if you want to ask any questions or put any comments, just throw them down in the comment section. Anyways, thanks for watching guys.